Due to this primitive level of science at the time, the imaginary scenarios of the theory of evolution were not looked upon as odd at all. Darwin's theses had a great impact on the scientific circles of his day. However, Darwin was still distressed. In the chapter, Difficulties on Theory, he wrote, If it could be demonstrated that any complex organ existed, which could not possibly have been formed by numerous successive slight modifications, my theory would absolutely break down. As far as I'm concerned, I'm here to tell you, Michael, this morning and Jason, evolution is dead. Long live the creator. I'll tell you why. And I'm saying science says that as a scientist. Uh, evolution is dead because there's such thing as the minimal gene set concept. They've taken a mycoplasma, smallest organism, mycoplasma genitalium, which is the smallest organism that is known to exist, has 468 genes. A gene is a mix of uh, proteins, right? Mm -hmm. a, a list of, so it can be 1,000, can be 10,000 amino acids. Okay, they're 486, and they've decided since year 2000, they've said, let's take them, let's try to reduce it. Because we have to start, if you're going to be an evolutionist, you have to start with zero genes and build up if you're going to go from hydrogen to human. And so, somewhere along the way, they said, well, let's take it down. In the year 2000, they published that even on paper, they couldn't go below uh, 200 genes. In, on the 6th of January, 2006, in Nature, they published that in reality, you could only go down to 397 genes. So, so, so a cell, which is where my specialty lies in my, my uh, scientific work, a cell needs a specific number of components to be functional. You have a membrane, but then you need to feed the membrane. So you have to have some mitochondria. You need a way of tagging the proteins. You need some DNA. So you need 397 things. Just the glucose cycle for getting en uh, energy takes over six different genes. So if you don't have one of them, you don't have any more energy coming to the cell.